so in this video now we'll try to learn one of that sql interview question where we have now this table that we have in left hand side so where we have brand okay and then we have phone ca brand category and subcategory okay so we can see that in first one we have brand mi123 null null samsung then again null we have realme again null so what we wanted to do whatever first brand is there takes till next null is there before coming to any other brand we need to just copy the same brand name to all those columns okay so in the row 2 and row 3 we need to paste brand 1 2 3 because mi 1 2 3 is that brand name so i pasted it here again samsung is there then i'm going to put that samsung then realme then realme so this one we try to understand how we can see so this one we have that table where we have sequence number brand category and subcategory okay so now i will move to sql server and try to show how we can achieve this one okay so first i will use that select star from here the so product details table okay and in this one we need to go ahead with selected column sequence brand okay category and then subcategory okay so now so we have nine rows so now we're going to see how to copy this one okay that null value with that brand name of that previous existing one okay so now what i can do first i will go ahead and try to explain you so we know that what we need to do we need to use that lead function okay to copy that previous value to that next row right we already i explained that lead and lag function so lead function we need to use that so that we can copy this one first brand name and paste in this two then again this in this three then again this and this three okay so how we can do that so what we can do we can do in this way we can do that select all these things from here okay and i will go on top then we have to use that lead function so i will write that lead okay so what we need in that best of this we need that sequence okay so basically what we need we need that which all are first thing to understand which all are not null brand name okay so i use that lead of sequence okay so that i will get that next sequence number okay over uh, over there order by sequence okay as i can put that name as not next not null next not null sequence okay so now if i try to run this one it will not give us whatever we need now we can see that it's coming two three four five six seven eight and this one null so this is not going to help us so now what we need to put we need to put that where condition where brand is not null okay and then if i run this one so now we got it now sequence one to sequence four sequence four and sequence eight and then this is last one so it's null okay nothing like this so we know that from four to four we need to fill that this brand name from four to eight seven not to eight sorry and this one also till three so now we need to put this brand name and then this two till next null means last row we need to fill that so this one already explained in previous video 
so now what we can do this one we need to store it so what i can do i can create one city so with cte1 as okay not null done and then i will put that select star from cte1 okay just to show you so we got that same result whatever we are getting from this one and put in that city one so now what we need to do now we need to here we can select that and now i will put that we need to join this one okay so first thing we need this product details we can copy and paste it here as p and then ct1 as c okay now here what we need to do we need to put that on first i will write that condition and then i will explain you how it's going to work okay then p dot sq okay sequence greater than or equals to c dot c dot sequence okay and we can put that p dot sequence sequence less than equals to c dot next not null minus one or c dot next not null is null okay so now what we are basically trying to do i will show you one by one so what we are doing we have product details table and then we need ct1 why we need ct1 so region behind because we need to from there we need to copy this one so now you can see here i am getting one to four so as we discuss this need this brand name need to go from one to till three okay so what condition i am putting if p dot sequence is less than this minus one till three we are checking it out from product table okay from this to this three okay till three or this last one we need because of this last row so that it will go if i not put this one then also i will show you what will be that output and here what i am checking p dot sequence greater than or equals to c dot sequence okay on this one i am joining okay so p dot sequence and c dot sequence so both are this only sequence this column only i am checking either it's equals to or p dot sequence is greater than then only it's going to be happened okay so now here what we need we need only c dot brand name okay rest all we can select from p dot category okay p dot sub category so once i will run this one and then again i will explain so now we can see all are got filled with a null value with whatever we have value and right now i will go and remove this one okay and then if i try to run it see right now since this is not coming and region behind that this condition is not satisfying so it's coming till samson and rest is not coming okay so now i will explain again here what we are trying to check p dot sequence dot c dot sequence so both are same here we are checking not null so this one basically we are trying to do it from here one two three we will fill it then what i can do to explain you in a better way i can keep this and this here oh, i will remove this one so now you can 
see this just a moment so now you can see one is there till three it's null right so what we are doing one to four minus one to till three it will go again from four it will start till eight is there so till seven we will go and again eight have already until nine so either equals to null so one will go and it will be fill that okay so in this way we are doing it out so i hope you understand this video if you have any doubt please let me know you can go ahead with that and try to understand one more time and try to break it out and change that value and try to run it in a small part then you will understand it how it's going to work and if you still you have any doubt please let me know i will try to again explain that and help you out uh, thank you